happy to introduce WooCommerce Blueprint for Bricks Builder and in this video we are going to have a quick look at all the things included in this blueprint. So I am in the site bigspixel.com and I have added the link below in the description of this video. So you can come to that link and you can check all the products. Right now here are only 3 products but I am working on many more and you can check out this WooCommerce Blueprint. Here is the landing page, live demo and all the product comes with a complete step by step documentation or you can add to cart and complete the checkout. If you still have any question then you can write down in the comment section below or you can contact me via the contact form or you can mail me at this uh, email address. Alright, so now come to the landing page. Here we have full short of all the necessary templates that comes with this blueprint like such as home page, shop, cart, quick look single product and all the necessary templates are included and the quick loop pop-up this one is from bricks native functionality and here also my count templates are included all the templates are very well designed and responsive on all the devices so you can check it out and here let me show you here i'm in the customer's account dashboard and as you can see this is responsive on all the display sizes for mobile and tablets as well all right now come back to the that's not all here you can uh, check the live demo all the templates and all the functionalities here you can see the product card and there are two types of product card this one first one and the second one uh, and also you can select product variation right in the into the product card you know uh, your customers not need to uh, visit the particular product page to select the variation and add to cart it you can uh, directly add to cart it here in the product card on any page whether it's a home page, show page or any other archive page so you can just select the variation or add to cart it and view cart okay you can see our products are added to cart and then and also in the products there's a hover feature when you hover over the image then it also changes the images and quick view you can just uh, quick view of the product and also product gallery slider with native bricks you uh, you do not get this uh, sliding gallery slider feature but with the blueprint you can do this as well all right and wish list okay and now come to next this is a product page this one is also properly designed and fully responsive and here you also you can select variations like this or clear it and a gallery slider that you can't do with native bricks you can uh, make slider for child items but you can't create gallery slider for like main images for many images of the products but with bricks blueprint you can do this very easily you just have to enable a checkbox or toggle in the bricks pixel settings and you can add it here all right and now in the and now on the shop page let's have a look at landing page and here you can in the on the shop page you can and many other features such as show real color in the filter with native bricks builder you can't filter products on sale you can do this uh, using uh, dynamic data but that's also limited to uh, simple products only like you can filter out only simple products but with this blueprint you can filter out both products whether it's a simple or variation okay like this you can filter both the products like this you can check all the on sale products okay and you can reset it and the next thing is colors with native bricks you can only show color names instead of uh, real colors but with bricks blueprint you can show real colors for filters like this you can filter out products with real colors and you can also reset them and yeah that's all come back to the landing page and we have discussed this and we already discussed like uh, we can show a different image or hover and you can show variation product variation on the uh, on the shop or any other archive page and next thing is uh, enhanced product page which we already have discussed and the next thing is my account dashboard so you can uh, design this very easily using uh, account navigation element this is basically a complete custom element that comes with this blueprint and let me show you this one account navigation with the help of this you can like add this uh, side navigation or endpoints of your my count section okay and you can show this active tooltip in front of the active endpoint and you can like 
select this uh, this one they are not all right at the moment and track order we have added these to custom endpoint to wish list and track order let me show you how you can do this and you can come here rix pixel account and custom endpoints here just enter endpoint title slug template id and template id is like template id one two three let me show you what are these like this one the template id for this one is one four eight eight so that's what you have to enter here or you can customize the existing one or delete them okay now come back to landing page and we have already discussed this one custom endpoints and uh, beautifully designed product card and quick access so this one is like you can come here in the header there is a search icon you can search any product skin and we will get all the skin related products here in the quick view uh, quick access pop-up or search bar there's no we don't have to go to uh, any particular page to search any product we can directly search it here or you can filter out products via categories or white and close this and the next thing is additional necessary custom elements for WooCommerce and these custom elements help you immensely in uh, enhancing your WooCommerce store such as product featured image with the help of this we can add a hover image and product rating counter this one add rating in the product query loop as well and on the product page anywhere you want to show I haven't added here on the blueprint but I have added this in another bricks called child theme and let me show you like this you can add each product's average rating next is checkout cart items okay now come to show page add a product we already have items in the cart let remove this and come to checkout all right this one is designed with the help of cart items any custom elements and okay and check out review order This one is review order you can uh, show this active shipping method like this one and this will change to local pickup okay like this and next is checkout payment you can add this checkout payment uh, separately from the review order with native bricks builder you can't show shipping payment and review order separately but with the help of custom elements in blueprint you can uh, show shipping anywhere on the checkout page uh, wherever you want or anywhere for this payment element and next is check out billing details shipping details and order notes okay and this one is billing details you can add this uh, billing details element separately and as you can see when you start entering the uh, details in the fields the label on the uh, field and also you can customize this setting like if you don't want floating label then you can disable it and it will stick on the top always okay no address and after entering the detail the, there is no placeholder so it will stick on the top okay and then you can add your shipping address element same here and the shipping we already discussed okay and billing details track order and shipping methods shipping method is this one and track order there is uh, we checked in my account area this one this element okay and then some other noteworthy improvements like uh, by default WooCommerce dropdown are not as good but with this blueprint you can enhance these uh, dropdowns as well let me show you what I'm talking about these by default these dropdowns do not look as much appealing but with this blueprint you can enhance these dropdowns as well okay and next is the uh, hide WooCommerce notification by default you can't hide these these notifications or any uh, info error or uh, success message but here we can hide these as well all right and the plugins used with this blueprint WooCommerce, mc wishlist and secure custom fields or acf you can any use any of these two wpc variation stretches right now we are adding variations in the product with the help of this plugin but in future i hope bricks team will uh, add the variation stretches native with bricks builder so i will update with that as well okay so that's all about woocommerce blueprint for bricks builder if you have any thought or suggestion about this blueprint just let me know in the comment section below and i will try to bring it in this blueprint as well and thanks for watching this video